My name is Peyton Katz. I'm the Pediatric Patient and Family Care Coordinator at HSS. Dr. Daniel Green, and I'm a Pediatric Orthopedic Surgeon specializing in knee surgery. David Sure, I'm a Pediatric Orthopedic Surgeon. We've been using our applied VR headsets for about six months. I think the kids appreciate it. But clearly there are other ways to help people cope with pain that, you know, potentially are superior without side effects. It's a big hit up on the floor. Our kids and families are really excited to see that we have VR headsets here, and they're especially intrigued when we tell them that the program was designed specifically for use in hospitals. So typically, it's it's really just purely distraction, music, videos, movies, you know, age-appropriate things that everybody has accessible to them, uh, but they're clearly not specifically designed for our purposes. We see a great impact on patients. It provides them an opportunity to have fun and be a kid while they're in the hospital, while they're going through something so difficult. Every little thing we do, no matter how small, to make a child feel more comfortable after surgery, I think uh, is very, very important. Uh, they're like masked lions flying around. A bit of a competition, it's a bit of a challenge, and it's something that they definitely weren't expecting to encounter in the hospital. My name's Alana Cohen. Alana is a very active girl. I was running and I slipped and I broke my leg. But she's also very sensitive. The virtual reality was amazing. It really distracted her from feeling the pain and you know, seeing what was going on around her. It was very fun to play, I liked it a lot. Many of our patients report feeling so distracted that either they forget about their pain or that they feel less pain when they were using the headset. And families really appreciate that the hospital goes the extra mile by providing this service. Anything that can help kids cope with post-operative pain uh, has real potential to improve recovering from the surgery, maybe even the speed of recovery. And it makes physicians wonder, perhaps should we do studies? Should we look to see if the kids need less narcotic pain medicine? It's something that you can tailor to different ages and different levels of cognitive capacity. Sometimes even kids who don't have uh, verbal uh, communication ability can still use technology to communicate and interact. Virtual reality is the new cool thing. So when kids realize that we have it, we're suddenly cool too. We would definitely recommend the virtual reality headsets to uh, our colleagues or other hospitals who are looking for other ways to make enhance or improve uh, uh, patients stay in the hospital, especially our children.